Hey guys, Mighty Gazelle here, and welcome to my brand new Let's Play of Pikmin for the Nintendo GameCube, released in 2001. What a splendid, amazing game Pikmin is. Uh, this game is arguably one of the most nostalgic games to me, and you know, the funny thing is, is I've actually never completed Pikmin. So one of the reasons that I... Hold on, let me avoid this intro cutscene. One of the reasons that I actually never... Or one of the reasons that I... I'm doing this Let's Play is gonna. I need to go back and remedy the, remedy the mistake of not completing this game. Uh, not only that, I'm going to be doing 100% of this game. Uh, what I mean by that is collect every single part throughout the whole game within the 30 day time limit. And you might be wondering, what the heck am I talking about? Well, we'll dive into that as we begin the Let's Play. Uh, but with, yeah, without further ado, let's begin. Let's see what Pikmin is all about. I'll tell you more about my childhood experience of this game as we go through. Uh, choose a data file, let's choose number one, because we are number one, we're the best. That is us, that is Captain Olimar, traveling through space when unexpectedly a meteor crashes into us. Now is it a meteor or an asteroid? I don't know. One of the two. And we go careening toward an unknown planet full of dangerous life forms. And various parts of our ship is scattering through the atmosphere as we start to burn up on entry. The impact site. My name is Captain Olimar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I must have blacked out, and I awoke on the surface of a weird planet. With so many parts lost, the skeletal hole of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone. I'm stranded. To make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors indicate this planet's environment contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. My life support systems can function for only 30 days. If I can't repair the dolphin by then? No. Better not think about it. I must find the missing ship parts. Yep, that's pretty much the setup for this game at the moment. And here we are, we're actually very, very small. These are all flowers. Um, I believe Olimar is like 10 centimeters tall. He's a very, very small life form. Um, and as for what planet this is, well, I'll let you take a wild guess, but uh, as we go through the game. Until then though, we have some strange life forms to meet. And I'm sure most of you know what these creatures are by now, but a strange thing has appeared before me. I had barely begun my search when it reared up as if it were waiting for me. Then it dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles a vegetable on my home planet that we call an onion. I shall call this an onion too. It's like an, it looks like an alien mothership, if you ask me. The seed that the onion dropped took root in the soil and has now produced an adorable little sprout. This sprout emits a strange light and it sways back and forth without benefit of wind. I cannot help but think it is calling to me. I am compelled. I must approach it and press A. <laughs> I love how like he's talking to himself like that. Extraordinary. When I plucked the sprout, it turned out to be a living creature, not a plant. Picking it has done no visible damage. It just stands there, staring at me. Its shape is similar to the Pick Pick brand carrots I love so much. I believe I shall call it a Pikmin. Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet, fighting to survive, and yet I'm intrigued. I must research this fascinating creature. 
I should try to grab it and throw it with A. And I will call it to my side with B. Hmm, perhaps it will react to C and X as well. The following controls appear to allow me several viewpoints. L for camera, R to zoom in and out, Z change angle, I must survive. I need to familiarize myself with these controls and my surroundings. So yes, this is a Pikmin, uh, hence the name of the game. Uh, and man, what a glorious creature the Pikmin are. Really, truly, they're adorable and they do your bidding for you. They're, they're savage yet cute at the same time. And pretty simply to click A to throw them. Have them do whatever you want to do. And just like that, we have two more Pikmin coming from the onion. Um, astonishing. The onion has sown more seeds. The small red pellet the Pikmin harvested after cutting down a flower appears to be some type of food that can propagate more Pikmin. The onion seems to be a sort of incubator. Needless to say, I must study the strange life form more. Uh, what I was saying is, uh, I really love how Olmar is sort of, he's not, he's not like a, he's not a dummy. Uh, he's actually very intelligent and he observes the surroundings and he narrates for you. I always got the impression of it like a, like a safari explorer. This guy's pretty genius and, uh, he's just a really small guy in a very scary situation. Crashed on a planet and he's just trying to get home. And I think that's a really cool setup for this game. Uh, as for my experience with this game, I'll never forget, ever forget, the day I walked into a GameStop as a kid, and I saw this really strange yet really intriguing box art for Pikmin, and I'll, I'll include a picture here so you guys can see it, but basically, I saw it and I asked my mom to buy it for me, and I went home, played it, and I was just like, wow, this game is so cool, and... You know how as a kid, things are more imaginative to you, and uh, things are just a little more magical? I just kind of got that feeling from this game. It was so cool playing as a little guy that's so small and the world's so huge. And you have these strange creatures all around you that you fight and you have help with you, and the music in this game. The graphics at the time were mind-blowing to me. Uh, I was new to gaming, really. I had an N64, but I had a GameCube uh, around that time. And I was just sort of getting into games that were really looking good, at least for back in the day, and this game still looks great, but I just, I don't know, it's something about it mem mesmerized me. And for whatever reason though, I never was able to finish the game. It's not a particularly hard game, although you do have a time limit, and normally in time limit, time limits in games I really don't like. Uh, but Pikmin, it, it sort of works, and I'll get into that more as we actually get to the new days and stuff, but... I don't know, I always liked the idea of just this game. It's such a simple premise, but it's so well done, and I always just liked it for that. Uh, so now that we have 10 Pikmin, we have this box over here. And as you can see, there's an indicator on the top saying 10. That means we'll need 10 to interact with it. Luckily, I have 10 Pikmin. But yeah, I, I always wanted to go back and actually beat this game, so I figured why not do a Let's Play of it. And for those of you who are long, and I mean long time subscribers to my channel, uh, I actually did attempt to play this game one other time. The Pikmin are as curious as children. They form groups to perform tasks that would be impossible for an individual. A glimmer of hope has begun to shine in my heart. If I can make use of their skills, perhaps I can fix my ship. I shall conduct some... I shall... Sum up all I've learned. Wait, I shall sum up all I've learned of Pikmin conduct. Approach and press A to pick sprouts. Press A to grab Pikmin. Release to throw. Press B to call them. X to dismiss. C to command. And control the group with control the group with L, R, and Z to control perspective. I shall record all my this on my computer. I can press Y to access my computer. Um, but yeah, I I actually did attempt to complete this game once back in my first year of uh, YouTube but various things I was still in college at the time I still technically am a college student I'm just taking time off uh, I just never got around to actually finishing it and so I scrapped the project a few episodes in but I am back I will not be defeated <laughs> and we have our first part of the game just happens to be the most important piece amazing there's no mistaking it my ship's engine rests right before my very eyes by a stroke of pure luck, I have already stumbled upon the most important piece of my damaged craft. Fate has smiled upon me. But, how will I get it back to the dolphin? 
And as you can see, we need 20 Pikmin to get this beast back to the ship. So that is what we're going to do to spend the rest of the day one doing, is getting all of the Pikmin we need to get the part back to the ship. Uh, when, I, when I said there's a time limit to this game, there's a time limit in the sense you only have 30 days to get the parts required to leave. You need 25 of the 30 parts to leave. And, uh... So... And right now, and normally during the day, you'll actually have a timer. A, a day is timed. You have about 15 minutes every day to do all the work you need to do. And how I think I'm going to split up this project is, uh... I'm going to record many episodes at a time because the days are not very long. But the episodes will only be a day. That way I'll title the episode Day 2, Day 3. And I feel like that's easily the best way to split up this Let's Play. Uh, just makes the most sense to me, and hopefully you guys agree. Um, so that'll be nice, fun, short episodes, probably like 15 to 20 minutes each. Uh, I'm sure that can vary depending on the events that happen that day. When many Pikmin seeds sprout at once, I find it rather tedious to pluck them from the group and from the ground individually. My wife always told me I was no good at routine tasks. I guess I'll try to get it all done at once by repeatedly tapping A until I pick all the Pikmin from the ground. I've noticed that when I add Pikmin to my group, they become filled with excitement and flush with a bright color. At other times, they revert to a paler hue and give off a dim glow. Paying close attention to these differences is bound to help me distinguish Pikmin. Yeah, so basically if they're filled with color, that means they're following you, and if not, then they're just standing idle. And I was going to mention that earlier. If you click A really fast, you'll automatically go to all the Pikmin and uh, pick them up. Which is honestly really nice, because if I had to go tediously to each one, I'd, I'd get frustrated, personally. But, day one, there's no time limit. Uh, it's all about the tutorial. So, this first day, it's going to be pretty self-explanatory. Um, so, this episode will only contain day one, but I'm immediately going to keep going into day two and to day three. Uh, but the episodes will just appear as day, day by day. Uh, so now we have 21 Pikmin, that is enough to get the part, so uh, that's what we're going to do now. Let's bring this bad boy back to the dolphin. If you notice the theme of my channel, I like to replay games that, uh... Either I'm really interested in, or games that are nostalgic to me, and Pikmin easily fits that bill. I, I want to preserve my thoughts and experiences with this game before I get too old and I forget what I originally thought about this game. So that's part of the reason I do these, is uh, when I walk down memory lane, I like to remember things and have it recorded. Uh, because someday, and I'm sure in one of my 30s or 40s, I'm going to forget a lot of the original experiences I had with the game. But I can always look back to videos like this and uh, kind of hear myself reflecting on it from a much more fresh perspective. I know that sounds kind of selfish, but that's just kind of what YouTube is for me in a way. It's just kind of a way to record all my experiences for me down the road so I can look back on fondly. As well as interact with you guys. It's, it's a win-win for everyone, I think. And our ship has a little bit of repair done to it, so that's good. Oh, glorious. With the help of these Pikmin, I've taken a huge step back toward home. My ship can once again lift off. The glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly. But what has become of the remaining parts? That search starts tomorrow. And at the end of every day, Olimar kind of rounds up all the Pikmin and sends them back into their ship. Uh, you don't see it now, but there are many areas of the game that have enemies, and when you actually don't have all your Pikmin in a safe area or under your control, they will be get left behind at night. And it's one of the saddest scenes in gaming. I hope I never have to show you guys it. Basically, it'll show like the Pikmin either getting devoured, stomped on, like destroyed in some way. It's, it's pretty sad because the Pikmin are so adorable. One day since impact, I have somehow managed to launch the dolphin, but I was surprised to see the onion lift off with me. Perhaps the Pikmin cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface, or have they merely decided to join me for other reasons? Either way, it seems they will help me again tomorrow. 
The dolphin is missing 29 parts. If I can't recover them all, I may never return home to my family on planet Hawkintat. Analysis shows life support systems will function for only 29 more days. How can I repair my dolphin in such a short time? A dense forest is visible on the surface below. As it holds the key to my survival, I name it the Forest of Hope. I explore it tomorrow. And you get a cool little graph showing the growth of your population. Uh, we sprouted 21 today, lost none in battle, and left zero behind. So we have 21 total Pikmin. And then as you can see at the bottom, 29 parts remain and 29 days remain. You might be wondering, isn't it going to be kind of scary if you need uh, to get so many parts in the exact same amount of days? Not so. That's not so bad because some days you'll get two to three parts. Uh, no problem. Other days you can just spend getting your population up. So I'm not too worried, even though I've never beaten this game, obviously. Um, I'm not too worried I'll be able to get all the parts, though. And here we have the world map where we can actually select every area we want to go to. I'll unlock many more throughout the game. Uh, so yeah, this is the first episode of Let's Play Pikmin on my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed, and next time we will be tackling the Forest of Hope. Hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, this has been Mighty Gazelle, hoping you all have a mighty day. See you guys.